What's going on, everybody? Good morning on this very beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, welcome for the first time. We're back to another Is God For It Gets Me video. And what I wanted to share with you guys is marriage is a training ground. All right. Marriage is a training ground. You know, this year is my 10 year anniversary being married to a wonderful woman. And within that 10 years, it hasn't been this romanticized notion about being married. We've had some romantic times, but marriage has is, is been so romanticized in terms of fitting our ideals and what we want from another person. And the marriage isn't, I, I think we need to move away from this romanticized ideology about marriage. All right. Um, when I say marriage is a training ground, when you're learning how to, you're learning certain characteristics where you're married, you're learning how to uh, deny yourself. And I don't, I want to be careful not to speak Christianese in this video. It's very easy to do that and just um, turn it and throw a biblical platitudes at you. But um, when I say deny yourself, that means that you're actually whatever you want and whatever your flesh, whatever on the inside you're feeling and you sit up here and you recognize it, you, you take acknowledgement of it. You're aware of it. You say immediately to yourself that, you know what? I feel this way. I see that I'm starting to have these these inner workings going on, but I'm gonna make a decision to go against the grain on that. I'm gonna choose the opposite. I know what the word says in regards to um, maybe my anger in, in this time, in terms of maybe my irritation, maybe even uh, even my own desires. I know what the word says in terms of how I'm supposed to um, serve him and therefore serve everybody else um, and serving him and doing right by others. That's what I'm gonna decide to do right now. And marriage is a perfect training ground for that because um, as... <laughs> I'm going to really try not to get jokey here on this video, but a, a woman can easily, for a man, identify, if she gets to know you, she can easily point out your flaws, like very, very easily, all right? And that can that can grate on you. It grates on, it takes a toll on your ego, um, who you are, your pride, all these other things, you know? And then you think about how God feels about pride and you just, you know, that pride shouldn't even be a word of your vocabulary. But that's the, that's the reality, though. You know, that's the reality. So when you're getting this, this sort of practice, you know, when the wife is doing certain things, some things that she knows how to push her buttons and um, she knows what to how to address, how to directly attack you and, and, and hit certain characteristics about you, uh, call out those flaws and, and put hold the mirror up to your face, man. It, it could get ugly sometimes, you know. Uh, but that's why I say marriage is a train in the ground, though, because you in, in those times that, um, me being a, a man married to a very spiritual woman, I, I have to be able to go to the Lord and, and use word in order to overcome a lot of those things, you know, and sometimes when she calls out my flaws, she's not wrong. She's not wrong at all. The, a lot of the flaws that she calls out, like, for example, if I say, if I say I'm going to do something, like I'm, I'm very poor with integrity. I, I'm, I, that's something that I recognize and I, I take acknowledgement and ownership of. I take accountability for that. And when I say I'm poor with integrity is that uh, the scripture where it says the the uh, spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I, I think I embody in a, in a manifestation of that because I always open my mouth to wanting to volunteer to do certain things or I get excited about doing certain things. And then when I come to the reality of what it takes to make that thing um, come into existence, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm not going to do that at all. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm not, forget it. I'm just lazy and everything. That, that's poor integrity, you know? And that's why I think the word also tells you like, yet, let your yeses be yeses and your noes be noes. Like keep it very simple so you don't open yourself up to fall into sin because then if you are opening and running your mouth saying that you're going to do something but you don't do it then you make yourself become a liar so you see how these scriptures you see how your actions just play and feed one into another so you have to be very careful that but my wife would call me out on those things and she's not wrong at all i mean when she does call out call me out of it, it's something i have to recognize and it's something i have to get better at now it's better and when i say it's a training ground because it's better for it to happen in a marriage than for you to actually be out here in the real world and getting called out for it before in the public because if people start actually you know if the lord needs to use you, let me actually say this if the lord needs to use you and you have called something to tarnish your reputation because of an action you uh committed 
a wrongful action that you've done, somebody saw a character flaw at you and you become, and it's become public about it, then it's going to cause a problem. It's going to make it a little bit difficult for the Lord to actually use you. Not saying that he can't, but you create these barriers and you create these obstacles and, and barricades that um, make the, the whole process of the Lord usual in a seamless, lay, a seamless way very, very difficult. All right. So if if uh, the wife can hold up a mirror and call out my flaw of poor integrity, then I can go ahead and get better at it within a marriage and practice. Um, you know, those things, I'm not opening my mouth to her and saying I'm going to do something when I know I'm not going to do it. Um, and if I do open my mouth, she can call me out on it. I can go ahead and get it done and, and move forward from there. Then rather than sitting up here and doing it to people out there in public, and I've done it before, and it's by the God's grace that my reputation is actually still intact. But imagine if I'm just constantly doing that and people are calling me out on it and then it's just smearing my reputation constantly over and over and over again, then I make it very difficult for the Lord to use me. So, um, so I, this is one of the first of many videos that I'm actually going to talk about in terms of, um, in terms of, you know, the roles, gender roles, men and women. Uh, I think that's the, the, the one of the directions that the channel is going to move forward into doing biblical documentaries. Uh, as you can see with my last documentary that I posted about, you know, um, spiritual familiars, the supernatural, uh, talking to spirits when, when your dead relatives, those sorts of things. But I think this is the nature we're going to come to. But yeah, marriage is at first and foremost, a, a training ground. That's something that a lot of people don't talk about because they like to romanticize it. But let me know what you guys think in terms of this, um, this, this, this sort of biblical counsel, I guess you could say. Um, and me, I, I won't even say counsel, <coughs> excuse me, but me sharing my experiences, you know, and, and trying to give some word in terms of it and make it very practical and, and realistic and what it's like, you know, let me know what these videos are like to you and what you're getting out of them. And hopefully the Lord will bless me with more insight to go ahead and share that with you as well. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Uh, sign up to the email list for my book that I'm writing, The Lucifer Effect, where I go in and I talk about how the serpent is still speaking to Eve today, to Eve representing the Eve representing or being a metaphor for the modern woman and how these institutions that exist um, are being are, are still Luciferian in, in nature and in origin, especially in their messaging. So stay tuned for that. Sign up to the email list for that. We'll go for that. God bless y'all. See y'all in the next video.